Good to go. Whoa, whoa. Welcome back. We'll probably take a break after this one. All right. We'll Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Um, to fate the rise of madness. Yeah, so I, yeah, I put down my 10. White trucker. Okay. Um, um, this can be a short rest for those of you that don't want to go investigating. So, uh, Quetzal, if you wanted to... Uh, um, any in, by the way, like, in your garb, Arcane Chefs are known. Like, it's known that they exist. You could know? probably sleep in any um, inn for free if any, you cook something. Any tavern in this town will gladly accept you. Can I, um, can I try to, like, make you, some money while well, I'm... So oh, let's absolutely. find the nicest yeah, only tavern. Find okay. a nice, nice place. Give me a performance yeah. check as you are... Um, I'm not proficient. Well, I am proficient. You should be proficient, proficient in performance. But I have negative two charisma. Why do you have negative two charisma? Because I don't use charisma. <laughs> okay. I'm so not a charismatic bird. He is trying to. <laughs> All of my other skills are based on intelligence. Cooking. And that's through, in this case, performance. Can I use my intelligence for performance instead? Since I'm cooking? Uh, yes. I will intelligence for cooking. <laughs> a cooking check. So proficiency and right. we'll say for the sake of like a cooking check, let's make it intelligence plus proficiency. Cool. That work. It's not precisely a performance piece, but fifteen it kind of is, huh? Fifteen. Okay. Uh, so you spend about an hour in a nearby tavern um, cooking for them, and you end up making about. We'll say uh, 15 white chocolate. Oh boy. Which is not bad for like an hour's work. <laughs> that's like crazy good. 15 gold an hour? That's bank. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> but you're like a. Even though you're level one, up. as an arcane chef, you're known. By, yeah. Not necessarily by name, but by trade. No, by. Uh, uh, and so, like, like bards, arcane chefs can pretty much find work anywhere. Cool. Uh, which is really handy. Anything we'll always you really want to do? Is there a uh, coffee shop around here? Cost shit to make my, a my food. A sheriff station. There is. There is. Um, I'll follow him there and just not really say anything. Okay. <laughs> Before we get to you, Crowley. Ah yes. You are. Uh, you're approaching this I have it. He is doing some card tricks. Okay. Street. Street magic type card tricks. Like they like Is this your card? <laughs> yeah, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna walk up to him like when he's setting up a new trick, like between, not so I'm, just so I'm not interrupting. Right. It's like So have you been in this time long for doing your tricks and performing? Ah, a couple of days. Good, good. Do you mind if I set up with you? I'm a bit of a performer myself. Uh, kind of flourish my coat. What? Oh, I don't know. What do you do? Oh, sword swallowing. I do card tricks. Like, I was once a member of the Carly Dream Bazaar. Hey, hey, there's there's recognition there. Uh, he kind of nods. Alois is Crowley. Nice to meet you. Hmm. Hang on. Give me just a second. You want to roll a history check? Or no, it's not that. It's not like he doesn't know. <coughs> he doesn't know you. Like not specifically. I'm name dropping on purpose. Oh, I know you are. <laughs> that's that's what you do when you're charismatic. And if you know names and you. My name. Ugh, goodness, voice crack. That's great. My name is Perrin. Perrin? Yes. Lovely to meet you. Perrin Parkhill. Which I need to write down. Because it's a new NPC. Got so, so many pins. You I'm want... Make sure the, back, the back's fall off as well. You want to... <laughs> so uh, like keep pressing the of the Do your tricks while I mingle amongst the crowd. Certainly. Good way to make some coin. Just need Indeed. all pins. I give him a sly wink. Like, Get a bunch more. Oh, wait, mm-hmm. some more. In exchange, I would like some information when we're done. Since you've been here a while. Let's see what I can do. 
Sehr gut. Give me a performance check. That is a 25. Dang, dude. Damn. <laughs> that is bonkers. I'm All right. I'm specifically doing my sword swallow. Fucking professional is what that is. That will give him advantage on his sleight of hand check to rob a few people. So I, I, I'm going to take out my, my saber, my mm -hmm. patron, <laughs> and just do one of Okay. That's some crazy stuff to watch. Um... I'm gonna kind of walk around with it in my mouth and. Okay, yeah, with 25 for sure. No issues with that whatsoever. People are. Were you um, a tiefling? What were you? Deoful. Oh, yeah. Which is a tiefling. Do they have thaumaturgy? I do not. Mm. They're not, okay. not, not the day. Okay. No. Um, so they could be a flaming sword like that you're following. super amazed. Um, a couple of them toss a few um, red draka at you. Uh, I am, like, to finish my trick, when I pop the sword out, I'm going to fire an Eldritch Blast out the top of it, just straight up in the air. The spiral blast in the air. Uh, that's awesome. Like he that. can shoot spells all willy-nilly, but I stab one person with a four. I'm not aiming it at people. <laughs> Didn't hurt a single person. Yeah. Wait, do I hit a bird? Because I'd be funnier than hell. Uh, <laughs> give me percentile check. Percentile. <laughs> Better fucking not. I'll avenge his death. <laughs> <laughs> 85. Oh, <laughs> that's in the 15 mark. Okay, so <laughs> the Eldritch Blast flies up. And I, I'm like, I shoot it up and take a bow. There's a, uh, a, a, a very brief squawk of a pigeon. <laughs> and a pigeon, a pigeon just like lands maybe 10 feet away from you. <laughs> and it's like, that was not to me. <laughs> everyone claps. Uh, Birds are people too. <laughs> you end up making about. Uh, Pigeons are city rats. Birds are sky rats. Twenty red. Let's put bird rights. Like, oh, yeah, <laughs> pigeon, pigeons bird are rights. sky rats. Red, red, red. Silver. Okay. Silver. Yeah. Um, Perrin makes much more than that, but he's not going to share any of that with you, obviously. That's not. What, I'm not here for money. I know. Uh, so he kind of wanders back over to you. Very About that impressive. info. Say what you want. I barely noticed. What, uh, what? What do you need? So I've heard there are some people who've gone missing around here. Yes, um, I, I've heard that too. There was a, a group from the guild who was sent to after them and they disappeared too. So, hoping to find some information, signed up to take a guild job, get some coin. Indeed. Uh, I'm not. That's not my jam, but... Um, I figure you've been around town. You might have heard a few things about where they've been or... Yeah. Well, uh, as far as I've heard, to be fair, I haven't really asked around, but just hearsay and stuff in taverns and whatnot. The disappearances happen at night. Um, and there are rumors of red glowing eyes uh, that's before the abductions take place. But it's not really, I mean, it's not really clear as to what that could entail. I mean, many things can have <coughs> red glowing eyes at night, so. I'm sure they do. Uh, none have returned. Any idea of where they've been? I mean, are they on the outskirts of town? Just out of doors? Um, generally, what happens is they are... M most of the disappearances have taken place on the outskirts of town, closest to the Dragonfall Mountains. So that would be the eastern side of the town. I've never set up a town next to something creepy like the Dragonclaw Mountains. Kind of well, the Dragonclaw Mountains are enormous. You can't it's really just a creepy it. name for a mountain. Well, that's the way, that's the way it looks on the map. Dragonclaw. That's, <laughs> that's why it's called that. <laughs> that's really all I know. That's really good information. Well, thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. And you can hear a very distinct uh, clink of, of coin. 
coming from his pouch. Of scale. Yeah, well, it scale. would tip the scales. <laughs> Can I throw something at him? No. Hey, in hey, and no. Out. It's <laughs> Krishna and Finn have made their way over to the sheriff's office. Awesome. Um, it is a. It's so. You've kind of been wandering around the town. It's probably around lunchtime, like noonish at this point. Um, there's not really a lot of activity. There is one orc. Which m most of the times when you see orcs outside of like mountainous cave regions as bandits or whatever, they actually serve as the police force of places because of their strength. So they're either a bandit or a police officer, basically. Essentially, yeah. <laughs> That's there, pretty cool. There, there is obviously some. There's some that aren't, but yeah. for the most part, they're, they're a bandit yeah, or a police officer. They are. Uh, they make excellent cops. Are they dumb? They follow the rules. Some. They, they follow it's the rules. It's just like any other race. I mean, some are dumb, some are smart, so it just depends on... Um, if is you want to give me... Is there one named Clouseau? <laughs> no. If you want to give me an inside check on the one at the front desk, I'll let you know. Insight. Oh, I... Um, you I, can, too, if you wish. Twelve. Wisdom is not 12. dumped for me. Um, this one... And he is large. Like, not. Not the size Wisdom. category large, but he's just like a bulky guy. He, he's he's um, tough, dude. Yes. He does appear to be a little uh, round about the middle, right? But he's mostly muscle. Um, he eats healthily, but. He is an older orc. And you can see him um, kind of boredly filling out paperwork. And he just, I mean, he looks bored out of his mind. You think that, <coughs> obviously because he can read and write, he's not that stupid, per se. Um, but he, he, he appears to be of, of, of average intelligence. And he, like, when you when you and Finn walk in, he, he puts his pencil down, or he just doesn't even face. He, he doesn't even notice. No. There's there's like a like sitting uh, on on the, the like desk where he's working. Like kind of near the like front. There's like a, one of those little bell things. Oh, that's good. Okay. Well, uh, if I see someone who doesn't see me for like more than two seconds, I usually okay. smile away and say, hey! No. Like, if it, it doesn't last more than three seconds of silence for me. Okay, gotcha. Like, um, I won't walk up to a person without saying anything. So, you say hey. Hey! Before you get to the bell. Yeah. Or like maybe it's at the same time. Yeah, it, it, it might be at the same time. He looks up. Yeah. I'd like to take a moment of your time, sir. It's not too much trouble. <sighs> sure. Uh, yeah, I can do this later. What's up? Well, I was sent by the guild to investigate some oh. missing individuals around here. Ah, yes. Okay. Another adventuring Changer. party. Uh, I'll flex real quick. He he's like he kind of gives you a briefly confused look, but he's like I I just go right back to my original smile stance. That's very very funny. Well, another adventuring group was uh, sent out about a week ago. They haven't been seen. They were sent out. Yeah, to to try and find what happened to the missing people. Uh, we haven't heard from them yet. So, I don't know if they were captured or what. But okay, well, uh, you you think you have anyone here that you don't care if they die? Uh, what? To, to go figure out what 
keeps killing these people. Oh, I see. Any people here that we don't care if they... I'm sorry. I mean, i just asking if someone here would wants to join the fight. I'm sure you don't want to go join the fight. Oh, I see. Mm, if you have information as far as the location of where people are being held or yeah, where any of this is going on, then I, I don't, we, I don't we, know. we might be able to send a few okay. of our cops with you. Yeah. So... Name's Gobar, by the way. I'm Finn. How you doing? Finn. You're just human, yes. right? Yeah, I'm just a really bulky Very human. Very large, yes. Like, pretty much Very to the limit of how big a human is going to be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can you, can you, like, reach your head? No, <laughs> like, I, I can hit, like, the side. I can touch my hair. And you? So I came here because I imagine that you've kind of been tracking this, maybe getting reports coming in. Well, we know that only younger, relatively younger people are taken. Of uh, any affluence? Uh huh. So are they of means or. They got uh, money? And he, like. He like was was honestly confused by that. He was like, <laughs> "What?" It was a little too big of a word for him, you know. Too many syllables. Yeah. Do it. Um. No, I mean, the, as far as whether they're wealthy or not, doesn't seem to be an issue. Is this on a nightly or a weekly basis? Uh, it happens every. It's, it it used to happen only once every couple of weeks and it has increased progressively uh, as time has passed. So now, as of right now, it's maybe once every couple of days. Mm. Yeah. Is there a certain location of town? East, the east side, closest to the mountains. We, we, east side? We think that there might be a, a cave system that they're hiding out in. We don't know. Would you know of any individual who might be knowledgeable of that uh, area outskirts of town? Hmm. Well. Ooh. I don't know. Maybe try the Adventurers Guild building. Oh, I still have a Thank you for your time, sir. They would, they would have additional information. Perhaps. I don't know. You're welcome. Greatly appreciate it. And he goes back to filling out paperwork. Lots of parchment all over his desk. Alright. <clears throat> Do you have... Do you want to kind of wait and see where this goes? Wait, wait for time to strike. Clank, um, Clank is kind of looking to you for uh, the, the, the cue, if you will, the, the cue to like strike. So yeah. he he can reduce in size, right? Mm -hmm. Could he not? He could get out any time he wanted. But could he not go also go open the chest? He could probably. Uh -huh. Can I see his character sheet? You have to rub it. It's right here. Oh, I'll I'll just take care of that. Sorry. Um, Simmons bridges are so sorry. Oh yeah. Let's see. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? I I didn't hear I what he said. Know that Someone's britches are so soggy. Oh. oh. I don't. That is one of the um, people I don't have. Hey, it's all good. Is so opening yours. something? It's not a stealth check, it's a slide of hand check. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, what what would happen is. Okay. He has decent decks, he's not proficient in sleight of hand, though. Right. He has but to write wisdom. What he would need to do first would be to, like, shrink down. Anyway, he could probably get in there with just his yeah. 
poking around the sides. Could he drag the weaponry over to where? Where you are? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Prob- so. Probably get it over there. Um, he can. So when he shrinks down, he becomes about the size of an action figure, and he's like pretty fucking stealthy. The the like GI Joe, like the big GI Joes. Maybe about a foot tall. The foot foot action figures. I had a Power Ranger that size. <laughs> right? I did too, I think, a long time ago. Yeah, anyway. Uh, also, uh, the, it was a roughly the same size. A little smaller than, like, the Megazord toys, if you had all of them. Yeah. Like my rich friend did. <laughs> so, let's get... Uh, let's get Clank. Okay. If you want... I'll take care of him. If you want... So but Clank, no, okay. Clank yeah. probably thinks this is a good idea. It's like, right. yes, this, this, we don't need to sit in here. All right, now, this is so at this point, we'll say that this will be like the same night that you guys get to Iserod and 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 have been sort of investigating this. It's kind of happening in conjunction. Now, this will be like a few hours before Finn okay. walks in there. After. After Finn walks in there? Um, what's going on <laughs> with you guys? Yeah. So, like, okay. it's nighttime by this time. So the goblins are fewer in number. It's about four. And um, Gunter is not... You haven't seen Gunter in several hours. <clears throat> so the assumption is that he is not... Uh, he's he's not recruiting. Present. Or he's... He's out recruiting, or he's out picking people up, or whatever. Um, you have seen that they've brought a few people in. They've taken a few of those people to a different part of the cave, and you never see them. Um, so it's unclear as to where they go, but it almost seems like uh, maybe they're being sacrificed, or oh, something. How, how do you know Guntu? Hmm? How do you know that character? He he is the uh, police chief. Okay. Obvious right. Yeah. Okay. None of you guys know. Yeah. That Anything I'm about that? I'm just, I'll, I'm just wondering. Kicking up a storm. Trying to think from the perspective of Clank. Um, yeah. What's going on? What, so, what does Clank know about this town? Yeah, my sous chef. Anything? So, or, um, up. you and Harriet, you as Clank. Yep. Um, You've been in Iserod for a couple of days before you went out into the Dragonfall Mountains mm-hmm. or like the foothills thereof to see if you can find where these people were going. Okay. You found out basically the same information that Finn and Krishna and have Crowley now. have acquired. Yeah. It's just yep. not enough. Uh, right. So you managed to find the cave. And get captured. Yeah. Because, yeah, wrong place, wrong time kind of situation. So before you could go back and report, uh, they got you. Yep. And so, first give me, if you want to do this, it's Clay. Yeah. Give me a stealth check. So, does he get any sort of bonus to his stealth during his smallness? Uh, Because there's nothing written like that, and there wasn't anything in the character sheet about that. I'm going to say he can have advantage on his self check when he's a tiny action figure sized dude. Cool. Well, I rolled a 6 and a 16. That's much better. And he has a plus 4 to stealth, so 20. Dirty 20. That's good. That's very good. Um, It's very good. Okay. Great. Okay, good. Even with an 18 that I rolled, they have... A plus they're little one? Derpy goblins. Yes. They don't have high perception in this. So, yeah. He manages to scoot into... Scoot over to where the chest is. Find a way to get into the box and... No. No. Um, so. No. Obviously, in this particular instance, mm-hmm. he won't be able to take the mall because it's too big yeah the mall weighs more than he does at this point yeah <laughs> probably it's 10 pounds yeah but he would There's be able some kind of Ant-Man strength yeah. Yeah. Just just strong. Strong. Yeah. Some, some broken physics stuff yeah. I'm gonna say that if he wants to drag the mall over 
Um, his strength isn't bad. It's going to be disadvantage on stealth check. I was going to say, so. it would be loud is the issue, because he's not carrying it. Uh, okay, let me make a few notes Ooh. here. All right, well, let's uh, get back yep. to this little let's, jail uh, scene whenever we get back from break. Indeed. Sweet. Later.